I'm Steve. I'm Steve here again with the Gut Girl, Nicole. Thanks for being with us, Nicole. Thank you for having me. So this is an interesting topic, and we didn't talk before we turned this on, but we're going to talk about the three herbs that you like to maximize your health. Is is that a good way to put it? Yeah, it's three of my favorites. All right, so. We'll, t we'll, let's start with, we'll just go through each one of them. What is the first one? Okay. One of my, uh, one of my favorites, and this isn't in any particular order, but is mint. I love mint. It is really easy to get. It's really easy to grow yourself. Um, it helps with digestion. When you, when you have a stomach issue of any kind, the first thing I grab is mint, especially for a small child mint is a really good one to help with their stomach aches because you really they're not good at telling you what's hurting but that can solve that it eases irritable bowel syndrome which is amazing a lot of people have that nowadays because they have a terrible digestive tract um, mint is a really good pain reliever as well so i it calms the nervous system it helps with anxiety that's a that's something that I put in someone who has depression issues. And the other thing is spearmint spray, which is basically mint, is helps with cognition. So that's a really good thing as well. Where do you spray it? I mean I smell I spray it in you can spray it all, all over and kind of on the body, on the pillow, that kind of stuff. But you can also spray it in the mouth for a fact fast acting release. Okay. I know my wife grows some mint, I think in the yard or somewhere. Yep. So what is number two? Number two is lemon balm and it is in the mint family, but I really, really love this one. And I always put it into people who have lots of high stress. It reduces anxiety. It calms the nervous system, reduces indigestion, but it is also very good for nausea. So if someone just has, you know, a nauseous stomach, something's going on, give them lemon balm. It is a really, really good antiviral as well. So uh, real quick, uh, cause I want to know where you get this too, but the mint, you can buy it at the grocery store, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you want to, you want to get organic, right? I was just going to say, I always make sure that it's organic and I plant just because these three herbs too are super easy to plant and so I'm a tear, I have a brown thumb and I do really well with these ones. Okay. So you can get both of those so far at the store. You want to make yep. sure you get organic, right? Yep. Okay. What's number three? Okay. Number three, I, I probably. I probably should have put this at the top because I do think oregano is one of my very favorites. Um, oregano has so many benefits. Um, it is an antibacterial, an antiviral, and an antifungal. So I use this a lot in people who have candida, who have gut bacteria. Organic or Oregano is almost always in my regimen when I'm killing something in the digestive tract. It's a, um, it, re it helps clear the skin. It helps with the urinary tract infection. It helps kill E. coli, candida, and giardia. So it's just a heavy hitter. And you can put this in your spice rack. You can put it in foods. You can take it like I'm using it to do all kinds of killing of the bacteria. So it's just really, really a good, good um, plant. Wow, that is great information. Uh, so everyone, that is, that that's three herbs that can help improve your health. Uh, you've heard what they do now. So Nicole, how do people get a hold of you? You can reach me at an email of the gutgirl1 at gmail.com. Okay, and you've said you'll give $100 off to if anyone decides to do your program. Um, just mention that you heard this video, right? Absolutely. Okay. Well, Nicole, thanks for the information and thanks for being with us. And we will talk to you next time. Okay. Thanks.